हो रही है इस हवाले से क्या कहेंगे आप एक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर भी हैं मुशर्रफ के दौर में कभी इस तरह की सख्ती नहीं थी ये तो मुझे नहीं पता जिया के दौर में हुई हो वैसे हमने तो नहीं देखी पिछले पैंतीस साल इस तरह का क्रैक डाउन हमने नहीं देखा तो इससे तो लगता है कि एक सारी सिविल लिबर्टी सारी फंडामेंटल राइट्स खत्म हो गई बस अब तो सिर्फ अदिया रह गई है जो कि लोगों के इंसानी हकूक की थोक हिफाजत कर रही है बाकी तो कुछ भी नहीं है बाकी तो जिसको मर्जी उठा लो जब जब चाहो किसी को उठा लो तो हान साहब आप अजम जवान है अभी भी आपका पुर अजम है और डट कर खड़े हैं आप जितने मुकदमात बनाए जा रहे हैं पेशियां हैं आखिरी गेंद तक लड़ने वाला कप्तान था और आखिरी गेंद तक लड़ूंगा आखिरी गेंद तक लड़ने वाला कप्तान राहू हूं और आखिरी गेंद तक लड़ूंगा आई विल फाइट टिल द लास्ट बॉल द क्वेश्चन हियर वजाहत इफ आई कैन स्टार्ट विद यू इज व्हाट इज द लास्ट बॉल आई आई डोंट नो बिकॉज़ ही इज नॉट टॉकिंग इन मेटाफर्स व्हाट इज द लास्ट बॉल आई थिंक ही रेफर टू इट इन पर्सन यस्टरडे एंड आई होप योर प्रोड्यूसर्स कैन फाइंड दैट बरका द डिटेरिओरेशन विद इन द रैंक्स द एट्रोफी which has started uh, amongst uh, his rank and even his file uh, has started to take effect as of the last uh, 48 hours to my count almost 30 over 30 uh, pti leaders ticket holders former ministers etc have uh, have left uh, now of course uh, in plotistan uh, where everything is a conspiracy um, the, uh, uh, the 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 larger um uh, story is that they are being forced um after the events of may 9th uh, people have been approached and basically been given a choice a hard choice that either you face trial or you stay with this man because you face trial now there's actually actually regulation for people involved senior leaders junior leaders um uh, no regular workers to um who were a part at parcel of the may 9th events which as you covered as we also as the world saw was unprecedented military mm-hmm. installations all across the country attacked so people have been given a hard choice and in a country where the with the, with the old rule where the house always wins it seems that the house is beginning to cash in so so um, so it's so more it's of the same so it's deja vu not dramatic change as i argued in one of the columns i wrote in pakistan the pakistan military then wins again well except this time you have a man who is not uh, uh, taking flight uh, you have khan khan went on the record yesterday and said even and he did this and i'm copying him he said even if i'm the last man uh, i will not leave i will fight till the end i will fight alone he said and you know what i believe him the guy's got nothing to lose at this point um he's he's truly he's he's like him or not khan has not followed the trail of uh, the other uh, uh, dynasties the other politicians who have in the past barkha as you know you've covered pakistan for decades now who have taken flight who have taken those plea bargains who have gone into tactical retreats uh, retreats to london to riyadh to washington i'm talking about the zadaris the bhuttos right. uh, the benazirs of the world the, the sharifs of the world he hasn't taken that option now that makes him a very popular figure still but i must say that uh, the tide has turned in the last few days and yeah. uh, that popular uprising which for a minute looked like it could upend the system has actually ended up uh, uh, pushing the system where it has struck back the empire has truly struck back and struck hard imtiaz alam saab would you agree with that now i know that uh, you know uh, imran khan uh, ironically once dismissed by pakistan's uh, uh, sort of progressive politicians uh, as a, a burger phenomena a urban rootless de-rac 